blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, humbly, Lord, and I pray, Lord, I pray, Lord, Lord, you call me, you call me to be a last day's watchman with dreams and visions. And I tried to tell you no, Lord. I tried to tell you no, Lord. But you would not hear my no answer. You put my feet upon your path. And you gave me all of these tribulation dreams for this time right now. For these are the last days. And now I am ready, willing and able to start the work that you have given me to do. For your glory. For your glory not mine not mine so i pray lord and i beg lord you turn me loose you support me you lift me up you fill my cup to overflowing with your spirit and you turn me loose to warn the people you have given me so many so many tribulation dreams more than anyone else more than anyone else well, that time is now, and I pray, Lord, that you lead me, guide me, guide my path, and I pray always, I pray always to be pleasing to you, Lord. I pray your will be done, not my will, not my will, but your will be done, Lord, as I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me, and the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, but I am your dirt, Lord. I am your dirt, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. <clears throat> I have I have seen I have seen the tribulation. Probably more than any man alive today. Now you may think that that's a very bold statement, but then you have not seen what I have seen. Unspeakable unbelievable horror is coming now that you know now you know why I seem so sad most of the time because a lot of people are going to get hurt day by day by day now you can see the birth pains unfolding right before our very eyes toxic spills everywhere releasing toxic sub substances such as dioxin we're a mere 100, uh, we're a mere 137th of a thousandth of a gram can kill a person. And how many tons were released into the atmosphere in Ohio? How many states were affected by this toxic plume? And they set this on fire, spreading it all over the East Coast. And now animals and pets are dying. The soil is contaminated. And how many years will it be before you can grow a garden or crops in that part of the country now? The soil, the land is poisoned. Animals are poisoned. The air is poisoned. Water is poisoned. And the people, they're poisoned as well. And now we have had toxic spills, chemical spills in Michigan, Texas, Tennessee, Florida, and several other states. And it seems that it's happening all over America now and I believe it was up in Illinois they uh, railroad detectives found a pipe bomb wired to a track up in Illinois someone is doing this on purpose and it seems that they were not happy with poisoning our food our medications and the air now they have speeded up the process with even more deadly pathogens being released all around the country. Calamities are almost an hourly occurrence. Our economy is teetering on collapse. Economic collapse is coming and everything collapses, even in gold and silver collapses. War, everyone is preparing for war and war will come. Soon, very soon, riots, many killings, many homeless, and many homes and businesses will burn. Earthquakes everywhere, even several major earthquakes in America, 
death and destruction will be a, a worldwide theme. But the whole earth will seem to go mad. We have not seen anything yet. This is still just the beginning. These calamities will increase just like birth pains and will come faster and harder and closer together and get stronger and stronger right up till the rapture. Then after that all hell breaks loose and then you will see hell on earth. And there is a short video clip at the end of this video and this is very very close to what I was shown that's coming to America. And not in 10 or 20 years, but very, very soon. Look around. Can you not see it? You hear it on the news every day. You watch it on the news. And you see it on your TV set every single day now. Can you not see this is prophecy unfolding right before us, right now? There is a, a group of very wealthy and powerful people who can buy anything. But what they are buying now is power, influence, authority to cull the herd, to kill 90% of the people on the earth. And this is starting in America. Their goal is to collapse the economy, to bring chaos and famine, to bring people under their rule and authority. Out of chaos comes order, so they say. They want to bring war to America. They want to poison the people, the land, our crops our medications, water, our air, to destroy America. So let me ask you, how are they doing? But God, God has a remnant that he will save from destruction. And are you part of that remnant that Jesus will save from destruction? As the faithful few will be raptured straight out of here, straight to heaven. And we will leave all this chaos far behind us. But for the vast majority left behind, and many of these will be Christians who thought they were rapture ready, but found out only too late they were not. They believed the lies of the apostate church and the apostate preachers, wolves in sheep's clothing, lying and preaching a gospel of demons and preaching from, from fake Bibles that are not even the word of God. Heaven is only for the pure, the forgiven, who are found without spot or wrinkle. So you need to inspect your garments in this very late hour and see if you have a spot or a wrinkle. If so, now, right now, is the time to wash your garments clean, white as snow, without spot or wrinkle. God will not give your sin a nod and say, welcome home. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 and 10. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. Galatians 5, 19-21 Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emul emulsions, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revel reveling, and such as the like, the which I tell you before, as I have told you in times past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Revelation 22, 14 and 15. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. 1 Corinthians 9 and 19 What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. If you are born again, and if you are washed in the blood of Jesus, you are not your own, and this place is not your home. God bless you.
and God keep you and yours in his loving arms, just like he held me. And today, there is no safer place to be, except in the arms of Jesus. I beg you to pray without ceasing, repent of sin, and say the blessing over every meal. And keep looking up as our, as our redemption draweth nigh. And you are a gift from God to us. And we thank God every single day for sending you to us. We keep all of you in our prayers with much love and more grace from above. Amen. And we love all of you and we keep all of you in our prayers. And we love you so very, very much. You all, all, all of you have been a blessing to us. And we love you so very, very much. But just keep one thing in mind. No matter what happens today, your trials, your tribulations, things that the calamities that that happen to you here problems at home problems at work unexpected bills your neighbor throwing garbage over your fence into your backyard I mean uh, road rage I mean uh, things are just getting kind of crazy and but, but we need to remember all of this won't matter won't matter one iota one iota won't mean nothing nothing because we're going home soon we're going home soon. And that's more important than anything on this earth. Always keep that in mind. We love you. We pray for you all. Amen.